Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of The Outer Worlds. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as we hunt the last finger. There's there's somebody with a finger, and I need that finger. And also there's a door over there that's sealed, and uh, I don't know how to get in there, but that doesn't really matter, because Dr. Maybell is that a ways, and that's where we're going. We have finally made the decision, well actually come, we have... It's not about the decision, it's rather about the being capable of, of uh, it, having an effect on the, 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 the sort of, not dialogue, what's the word that I'm trying to say? The fight, I guess, between Edgewater and the Botanical Labs. So, last episode we went to, over to Edgewater and uh, everybody was very complaining about how there's no electricity now, I think. Even though it's just the lights, they were complaining about the lights. Here we go. Which is, which is a lovely, quaint way of, of doing it. Wait, you shouldn't do that. You should not do do what you're about to do. Nice one. You got it. Oh, it's Doctor Maybell. Don't mess with us. Woohoo! I think it's. Oh my God. <laughs> I think it's uh, it's better if I kill those because I think I don't get as much experience from our kills, but that's fine uh, because we have plenty of experience anyway. So because we've been killing, respawning monsters and whatnot, and doing everything and whatnot, and in between episodes, oh yeah, we're getting Doctor Mabel's finger over there. A finger taken from Doctor May Mabel or Mabel, and nobody else is in here. Otherwise, they would have come out. Uh, so very gruesome, very gruesome task, but it was one of the last few tasks that we had to do. Fun time barrels, fun or not quite that fun times barrel. Okay, Ooh, got things over here with Adreno, very much, very much a thing that I need. Also, I don't know if it weighs me down, Adreno. I hope it doesn't. I want to have a thousand. Never use it. In well, I do use it. It's just. Oh, yeah, you can see the description from this screen. That's pretty good. I do use uh, Adreno. It's just, uh, I'm always sort of apprehensive not to use it and be like, I'm only halfway down my health. I can, if I win this battle now, I can just regenerate health. It's not a problem. And that's true. It's usually that the distance between half health and full health is a lot longer than the distance between half health and no health. So, I die. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it's a, it's a tricky thing to do. And I'm coming up here. It's a leather boa. I just wanted to see what it has. Leather boa hide. Well, I have one of those then. Uh, also, I ha I wanted to come up here because we haven't been back here, and uh, this is the north north northwesternmost edge of the map, as far as I can tell. We were very close. This is the. If I'm not mistaken, this is the geothermal. No, it is not. This is the botanical garden. Oh crap. It's fine, it's fine. Ow. Did not need that. It even tells me with a red dot and I can't... Oh. Okay, the red dot is a lie. What's that? It's not a mine. It's a fruit. Oh, it is a mine. I know. It hurts. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go back, because we have the finger. Oh, you cannot fast travel while encumbered. I'm not, oh, I am encumbered. Oh, is that the reason why... Is that the reason why I, um, I walk slowly when I'm... Wow. I'm really bad at this. Fortunately, I have the magic of YouTube. Which heals everything that takes time to go away. So that worked out quite alright. However, it does mean... That I am turned around. And maybe I didn't see everything. What's this little place over here? Money. Money's not really my priority at the moment. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. Five is not that much. That's the geothermal plant. Okay. Yep, let's fast travel now. Isn't there an option to allow me to fast... Oh, no, there's a perk to allow me to fast travel, even while I'm over-encumbered. That is... Hmm. I'm not... Why are all the lights off? 
The oh, the... Out in the whole town. Pipe down. Did you really lock them down in lock them in in there? Leave them in there. It's best for us all. That's You better have a way to open that. Anyway, let's get the finger or, or we got the the finger in is what I was going to say. That's not the expression. Turn in the finger. That's the one. Yeah, and uh and see what else I need to do. Mr. Thompson is aware of your concerns and remains committed to guiding Edgewater into prosperity. That power armor looking power power armor is so cool. Got my hands full at the moment. I know. I'm here to turn in a bounty. We pay by I know we pay by the finger. It's here. Mabel Burgess. Age thirty seven. Right or left handed? Let's just say no longer applicable. I remember Dr. <laughs> Burgess. Conducted my physical every fiscal quarter. Guess she couldn't keep her hands off her patient's medicine. Well, that's all three. I must remember to requisition some more fingerprint ink. Here's all the compensation you've earned, plus a bonus. Uh, what's this, Junior Deputy Constable? The... I don't know what it is. You've done such a bang-up job hunting down our former workers that I thought it only proper to deputize you. Oh. Congratulations. Right. How did so many people end up marauders? Let me stop you there. It is official Spacer's Choice policy that all marauders, regardless of prior affiliation to the Spacer's Choice brand, no longer qualify as our people. Right. That doesn't really answer the question, though. Marauders are folk who lost the will to keep working, wandered out into the wilds and gave into their baser instincts. Not everyone's cut out to work in Edgewater. Some turned deserter. Some turned marauder. None of them get my sympathy. But what is the difference? Marauders seem to like Adrena time. Everybody likes Adrena time. <laughs> it is the finest medical drug ever developed by Spacer's Choice. Much better than that crap anti Cleo petals. Sure, a little too much Adrena time can bring out the violent animal in you, but if overdosing on Adrena time turns you into a lunatic, you have only yourself to blame. Oh. It says so right on the warning label. Violent psychosis is a well documented and legally accounted for side effect of Adrena time. Does it? On the I need to read that. Uh, there's something else I want to ask. I think. What's on your mind? I don't think there is, but yeah, goodbye. We have some Adrena time in here somewhere. Well, uh, sort by name, right? Okay, so things happen at the. Not really sure how things work. Um, it wasn't sorted by name. Was it? No, it was not. Adreno and Adrena time. What time is it? Adrena time. Unfortunately, it's it, 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 it doesn't say over there. This just reduces your walk speed, increases your melee attack speed. Adrena time. Oh, there's a crash. Right, right, right. Adrena, yeah, it increases your movement speed and your melee attack speed. Um, and stacks up to five times in the last 15 seconds. That is the shortest high since Jet. I'll tell you what. Uh, seriously, in a turn-based game, you could have low, shorter highs than than in a real-time game. And I'm talking Jet, because Jet is introduced in Fallout 2. And it lasts for two minutes, so I think it's a total of 12 turns. And in this game, a real-time one, it's 15 seconds? Holy crap. Give me that for two hours, please. I'm never using that. <laughs> Basically, 15 seconds, that's nothing. I might as well sell things. Uh, Phyllis. You picked a fine time to visit, stranger. Uh, they don't know I did it. Um, I'm guessing you're the foreman? Foreman Granger. Mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right away or thank you. Graveside fees, I'm here to collect. Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. Sure. Uh, these papers aren't signed in your name, though. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. That you have to pay for your workers' gravesite fees? If you're not familiar with board law, you ought to be. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. I'm sure that's why it's a shame. You said this guy shot himself? 
Woke up one morning and put her round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. They've worked for me. That's an awful thing to say. Mm, let's say the second one. Must be tough losing family. Eugene wasn't family. Oh wait, that's that's a twist. I thought you said you were his closest living relative. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. I'm the one who found him, you see, so I pay the fines. Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. <laughs> we knew about this, though. Oh, well, we read a, a, a pamphlet about it. But this has a much graver impact if it's the first time around that we hear about this. I feel. It still has the impact, it's just... This is a this is a weird answer. What are they gonna do? Arrest this corpse? No, you dummy. They're gonna arrest the person next to them. The, or f find them, I guess, because that's effectively what they did. But I'm gonna say you can't be serious. I'm plenty serious. In fact, I'm a little upset Eugene didn't think things through. Oh, I'm sure he did. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's Choice. Uh, don't worry about it. Your pocket is a Spacer's Choice pocket, so it's you just have to work more. Would have? Wait, you didn't? Look around. Edgewater ain't exactly swimming in luxury. We can't afford to pay the body price of a suicide. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees, which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. Your own lives. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'll let you go back to work. Well, that was easy to collect. If not where I meant to go. So Reed is down there. Blocking my way to... Instead of being up there, by the way. Blocking my way to where I want to go. I retrieve the power regulator. Which is right there. Very close to me, but that's because it's on a lower level. Uh, let's let's return to Ludwig over here. Can I fast travel there? I think yeah, I can. Great, great stuff. Better than nature. It's bread. Wait, what? What is better than nature? Also, what is not nature? Town's been dark a while now. Could be a mechanical trying to sabotage us. Uh, I'm sure there's some sabotage going on in there. You mentioned a logic module. I found one in the geothermal plant. Hopefully he'll actually know what he's doing and he'll figure out things. Bang up work, soldier. You're a credit to your uniform. Oh, well, that reminds me. Gotta look into getting us a uniform. So this is it, then. The key to humanity's victory over the mechanical hordes. I would reward you with the gratitude of the resistance, but... I'm guessing you want something tactile. So here's a couple of bits for your trouble. And a little something to remember me by. Oh, I'll remember you. Take care. Yeah, he deserves a good quest. His character is not written in quite a memorable, quite as memorable a fashion as some other characters, but he... The concept behind his character definitely deserves deserves a quest like that. A very back and forth and and doing different things and interacting with with different people kind of quest, which I enjoyed quite a lot. That was pretty good. Um, shock stick. That's what he gave me. Right, right. I was I was trying to think of two things at the same time, and one of them was right in front of me, and that basically blocked me from thinking about the other one. Ooh. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna steal anything from him. Even though I could, even though as far as I can tell, there are absolutely zero repercussions for stealing things. That's basically the reason why I didn't want to... Um... Oh, yeah, I still need to find these. Yeah, the volumes. Um... Oh, they're not here? I thought I had found... Oh, the one... I thought I had found the one in the community center already. We might be under attack immediately as we come in. Hopefully not. I don't see any red dot. Shh. You do realize that thing propels your voice everywhere. Yeah, I think we're good. 
I think we're safe. Let's go back inside. Uh, what was it saying? Oh my god. It's not the worst unless it's... That was a pig. That was a pig right there. Okay, so we did all the things here. Wait. I'd never explored this. It's a good thing I came back then. Never looked at those, which is something I I want to do. Not so much the loot, although the loot too. Oh, that's the other bard. Good stuff. You go, get free. Okay, right control armor, cartridge, sawed off shotgun, uh, over encumbered. Uh, am I? I am. Let's see what we have over here. Keycard encoder in the lobby is back up and running. Hopefully it won't go on the fritz again and start shooting keycards at anyone who walks by. As a reminder, in case it does break down again, you can borrow a, uh, can borrow a keycard from the director or one of the co the workers in the second floor office if you lose your keycard. Yeah, I did that already. I think I locked or hacked the doors. In I must lodge a complaint, Director Pickett. Your obsession with this Manti Queen is wasting... Oh, this is not... I did not see a Manti Queen in here. He's wasting all of our budget and holding up development on the entire exhibit. This has to stop. And then the answer from the company. The letter is to update you regarding your request for one adult Manti Queen. As you may remember, our trackers discovered a beautiful specimen out in the wild. Per your approval, we deployed a team of our highly skilled hunters to kill it for you. We regret to inform you that the entire team has perished. Please expect an invoice from our office, including the cost of their gravesite fees, as stipulated in our contract. Additionally, we must ask you to cover the cost of all equipment damaged, corroded, dissolved, eaten, or digested, partially or otherwise. Thank you for your patronage. Please allow, please allow me to offer you the opportunity to purchase a second hunting expedition at a 10% discount. I look forward to hearing from you. Sincerely, uh, the Hunters and Trackers Company, a wholly unowned subsidiary, subsidiary not unknown. A wholly owned subsidiary of Universe Defense Logistics. UDL. We might want to remember that for later. Uh, also, yeah, it's really great to... Uh, it's a really great scheme right there. You got... You can literally send a, nobody into the expedition. And uh, and say they that none of them survived. None of the ones that we sent. There were nobody that we sent that survived. And then you are correct in what you say. Anyway, let's, uh, so let's see, I want this, okay, and we are throwing away many of these things, that one I can keep, okay, so Q and E, that's probably a better way to do this, but that's the way I do it, and we got some nice things in here, that's the one, okay, so I think, yeah, you, you're going down, and you're going down too, what do we have, oh, right, okay, tab is out. You exit that. That's a cool lamp over there. Zero G. I will need to store so many things back in my ship. So many things. Also, I'll need to go back to where I was because I am turned around now. So I got this. I came in. Yeah, I'm absolutely turned around. Oh, right, 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 right. I opened that door. So maybe the Manti Queen is not in here. Jeweled ring, very much a fan of that. Thank you very much. And let's see what we have over here. If the ocean and rivers are the heart and veins of Emerald Vale, then Saltuna is our highly profitable blood. These meaty fish live in the ocean and migrate upstream during mating season. Saltuna are semel porous semiparos which means they perish after a single reproductive episode that's when our trusty spacers choice harvesters scoop up their corpse corpses to be cleaned processed canned and delivered straight to your dinner table that's mildly perturbing although also highly efficient i would guess not really sure what effect it would have on the ecosystem but still we have this terrible thing that is terrible the primals. The, this display, fashioned to resemble a pair of mighty primals, required extensive field research. Let's have a moment of silence for the researchers who gave their lives in the pursuit of authenticity. I'm sure they didn't actually give their lives. Somebody paid for them. But the expression still stands. The canid over here, Beta Lupus Familiaris. 
Canids can be found all over Emerald Vale in two distinct varieties, domesticated and ferals. Or feral. Feral canids hunt in packs, while domesticated canids can be loyal companions. It is important to remember that the canid is still a wild animal and should be treated with caution. And, and... I want to save. Coming soon! Manti Queen! Feast your eyes on the great fri fr frilled Manti Queen, sovereign of her nest. Imported from the wilds of Terra One. So are we gonna go there? Maybe? To thrill and excite your imagination. But it's not there. It's just a... An empty place. And I can't go back there. What a shame. What a shame. Anyway, we have been up here. Dang it. Immediately got proven wrong. I just... I was gonna say, we have been up here, I just missed the thing. Nope. I have just explained why I've missed the thing, because I didn't come up here. And there's money all over the place. As well as the the little thing for Thomas, I remember his name. <laughs> I'm not a complete idiot. That's just, just a partial one. Progress is still ongoing regarding the idiotization. Idiotization? Sure. Uh, you can you can see that's pretty well advanced. The progress, I mean. Okay, so next stage of the getting the... Oh, yeah, sure. Next stage of the getting the... Oh, is it in edge water? Interesting. And we cannot fast travel while indoors because of reasons. I can fast travel anywhere. Look at this. Freaky magic, I tell you. Freaky magic. Okay. Open the door. No. No. Oh, I didn't catch that. They were gonna say no, not something or other. So I still have to extort money from him, just with the teeth of the corpse that's supposed to be buried. It's super, it's, yeah. And then I need to go to the engine. Oh my god. Is this normal? I suppose it is. <laughs> Holy crap. Saltuna Cannery. Oh. What are we supposed to do now? Exercise patience. Contemplate the scripture. It says it's sealed. I sure hope it's not. Don't know how long we'll I sure hope it's not. Did I screw that quest? Let's deal with uh, Reed over here. See where this is going. I think we're in a state of, like, heightened da danger and whatnot. You want to know what gets my bile churning? Edgewater has suffered a cavalcade of disasters, plague, marauders, desertion. Then you wandered in town. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. I never knew how right I was. Just answer one question for me. Why'd you do it? I have to answer the question. Well, I don't owe you an explanation. Hmm. It's not personal. Maybe he's going to respect that. I, I need your power regulator. That power regulator is company property. Whatever you were hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn around and leave. I have got guards posted with orders to fire on you. Call off your guards. I don't want them bleeding all over my power regulator. All right, easy now. Let's not do anything we'll regret. I'll order my guards to stand down. Take what you came for and then leave us be. Well, that's interesting. Stand down, all of you. We're done. Huh. Well, I avoided unnecessary bloodshed. Although the guards should have been smart to be like, we don't know you nothing. What's gonna happen to us once you, once you get out of here? Is he even gonna get out of here? Anyway, let's get the power generator or regulator. So I think I'm permanently locked out of that particular place. Maybe. Maybe not. I got the power regulator, so 
that's kind of good. If the game has... Does the game have a console? The game does not have a console. Because a TCL would have allowed me to go in there. <laughs> a to a toggle clipping. Okay. So... Return to the unreliable. Huh. You can hear the sirens or whatever. Still going. Interesting. Anyway, we're going to the ship. Let's see if nobody's gonna shoot me or anything. This is a dangerous place. Seems pretty good. They're not here anymore, taking care of paperwork. Is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship. Working on a real engine. Belonging to a proper crew. Edgewater won't last another season without power, but... That don't change the fact that I'm indentured to Spacer's Choice. Company expects me back at my post. Indentured. Those deserters left Edgewater behind. Nothing, nothing keeping you from doing the same. I have imagined it, but until you came along, I never thought I had the choice. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. Can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? You just met me. Why would you want to go into space with a stranger? Yeah, I've been thinking about that. I had my misgivings about Miss McDevitt and the deserters, but you took pity on them and sent power to their garden, even though you knew Mr. Thompson would hate you for it. All this time, you've been determined to get your regulator back, get your ship up and running, and cut a path out of this place. And well, I want it. You really want out of Edgewater that badly? Not much of an Edgewater left to go back to. My whole life's been... small. I realized that when you walked into town. I've been seeing the same faces every day, the same sky, the same stars. Then I saw this ship. This gorgeous, stately lady with her eyes turned skyward and... I made up my mind to come along with you. I'd be glad to have you along. Pick a cabin. It's yours. Yes! I mean, uh, thanks. You won't regret this, ma'am. Captain. I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think I, I, I didn't realize she wasn't otherwise going to come with me. I thought I thought, thought this was, yeah, to the infinity and beyond and all that. Um, oh, it's Max. Uh, also, I'm pretty sure she has a completely different animation set than everybody else. And I'm not sure if everybody else has the same animation set. I hope they don't. I hope they have different animations and whatnot. Or that just the animation set is so varied that they can specialize. Because she, she has... She's well, emote. I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named The Unreliable. I'll just head upstairs and claim a room. Hmm. Because she emotes in a very, very specific way. She gives her enormous amounts of personality. Um, Max, wait, wait, wait a little bit. Wait. You're not going to talk to me? Okay. Where are we headed? No, we're not. Okay, you're going to go upstairs and claim a room. Captain Quarters. Sealed. Well, you're not going to claim a room because I didn't get the freaking... I haven't been up there. I haven't gotten the uh, the machines going. I really hope that I'll be able to get the other, the other book. Oh, uh, no. I, I might have locked myself out of that one. Which sucks. <laughs> It's working. 
this thing makes what looks like a lot of heat and a lot of noise as well. And now we need to talk to Ada, our artificial intelligence AI thing. That's right, artificial intelligence AI. That's that's what I said. Uh, and it's also the end of the episode, so um, that's going to be that for right now. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been The Outer Worlds. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.